All right, so I am at, at the edge of my second row, my middle row of my storyboard. So it's a good time for an animation test. So I go to my stage and I'm going to, in the timeline, make frames from layers, move the, the blank layer to the trash, select them all, set a timing of 0.3. That's my default timing. And then just play it through. My creature comes in. The church opens up. The tractor beam shines on him. Right? Now, so far, do I have a transformation in my animation? The church opening up is a transformation, right? But now the goal is not to just have it cut out all of a sudden, but to have a transformation happen not just in the setting, but also with the creature. That's just my plan. The creature will get sucked into the church, and then it will set to reset. So let's continue. But before I can do that, before I can add more layers, I need to select all my frames, drag them to the trash. And then I like to turn them all on again. So I'm 16 layers in. Remember, all the timeline does is program this eyeball. Very good. Save it. That's where I left off. So now, I get to make the beam full strength. I'll move the, the ice a little bit slower now. It was moving a little, a little fast. So maybe just one click. And I'm going to open up my sucked in panels. And for that, I'm going to turn off the talons and turn off the creature. And his tongue's out again. Let's see if that's too big a change. Hmm. That's a pretty big change. So I might add one other pose. So let's duplicate it, turn that one off, puppet warp this. I want that tongue not so big, first of all. I put too many pins in. <laughs> when you have so many pins, then all the movements are slow, and I want them to be a little faster. So I want to move them down. There we go. Let's try that. So from that to that, that's not as extreme. And then full tractor beam. But I need to move this now above my creature. Now that looks powerful. So from that to this, yes, good. And I don't need to worry so much about the opacity of these things anymore because that lighting is so dramatic. Right. Okay, go to the top. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge, Visible, which is Shift-Command-E if you want a shortcut. Command-A, Command-C, 
Command V. So it's Option Shift Command E, which is too many for me. Okay. Deselect, get rid of that layer. Move these a little bit. Play with these a little bit. Just a little bit. Play with this opacity. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because it's a little strong there. And then I start this sucked in cycle. Where he raises up, hold down option, layer, merge visible, command A, command C, command V, adding command S, command D, delete, move this a little bit, move this a little bit, move this a little bit, move this a little bit. Going a little faster here. Vary the tractor beam just so it stays dynamic. A little bit in opacity each time. Yep, good. Go to the top, option, layer, merge visible. Select all with command A, command C to copy all. Go to the stage, command B to paste it in. Not really seeing that opacity change much, but that's okay. The bird's going to be changing a lot now, and it's going to go fast. Okay, deselect. Move the ice. Move the ice. Move the mist. Move the ice. Make this opacity stronger. I'm going to not be so subtle with it in the future. Move to the next pose. Go to the top. Option. Layer. Merge visible. Command A. Command C. Command V. Command S to save. Yeah, I like that opacity change better. Command D to deselect. Then delete. Then move the ice. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. The key is just keeping, the, keeping it looking dynamic. Change the opacity. The next sucked in pose. Go to the top. Option, layer, merge visible. Command A, Command C, Command V. See the back of the creature for the first time? That talon is lifting off. That's nice. Command D to deselect. Move the ice a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a <laughs> little bit. Vary the opacity of the texture. Push this back up again. The next one. Over the top. Now I'm basically right here, right? Merge visible, command A, command C, command V. So big change because now it's a faster movement. Command D to deselect, delete it, move the ice a little bit, move the ice a little bit, move the ice, the mist a little bit, a little bit, play with the opacity a little bit. So I have, after this, three more for this, the full sucking in. I love that light and all that atmosphere. Option, layer, merge visible. Command A, Command C, paste it in. Command S to save it. Now I'm getting into this area. This is kind of the major visual tr uh, transformation. So I want it to be dramatic. 
So I don't need to worry about all these little subtleties as much. Move the ice. Move the mist. Change the opacity. I'm going to go to this next one. So what takes time is posing your creature. When you don't have to do that, you can just set opacities and, and go pretty fast. Merge visible. And I could be a perfectionist about the poses and stuff, but it's not, not helpful to me. And now it's really getting sucked in. And I'm building up the atmosphere a little bit more opaque to cover kind of how unbelievable this is. <laughs> All right. Almost there. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, Command V. I think I'm going to make it. Command D to deselect, delete the merge layer, move the ice, move the ice, move the mist, move the other ice. They're all moving in opposite directions. Play with the opacity. Now I'm going to start to, to lessen it somewhat. Show us how to make screen shakes next time. Screen shakes? Yeah. Well, which I'm not going to because I'm not having that happen with mine. But <laughs> all you have to do is is take your background layer, make a duplicate of it, and then yeah, just transform it a little bit so that going between the two, your background shakes a little. So I might do that. I'll just do it that much <laughs> for this big moment when the uh, the church swallows him up. Now for this, I think I also need to take down a little bit of the glow. But not all of it. Because now we have a little bit of that interaction happening. Now I'm going to try to finish my animation today so that next class I can show you how to make your final storyboard. So I'm almost there. So beginning of, of next class with the next demo, I'll just set it to reset, getting back to nothing, which means closing the, the door and everything. Okay, but this will be the last one I put into this demo, and then that will be it for today. Let me see. I think I might want to darken the bird a little bit as well, so I'll just burn it down as it gets sucked in and is backlit. Just like that. And then I actually might do one more. So I'm going to merge them. Option, layer, merge visible. Command A, this is with the shaking background. Go to stage, Command V, save, and then back to here. I'm gonna label it shaking background so I remember to get it back. There's all kinds of ways you can play with your assets. Okay, then erase this top layer. Turn off the shaking background, and I'm just going to do one more of this sucked in. Make a duplicate of it. I can do that because I'm on assets and I don't have frames active. I'm just going to have the wings showing. And erase.